Hello! So this is my first video for YouTube that has voice and picture and this is like my umpteenth million try because every time I do it something goes wrong. <laughs> Either the video or the sound or something. So I went out and bought a brand new microphone and hopefully this works. <laughs> so far when recording on like you know the little recorder on the Windows thing it worked better than my other one so. Um, I'm Tanya and um, I'm known around here or around the internet here wherever as Easy Bop and um, I joined YouTube because of my friend Cree she's really cool she does that whole YouTube idol thing pretty cool girl um, so I thought I'd after you know being around for a while and watching her do her thing and thought I'd finally do one for myself Come babies. Oh, we have a visitor. And this is my very pregnant kitty, Samantha. She's a sweetie and sweet. Look at that big belly. Oh, the big belly. <laughs> yeah. We tried to get her fixed, but she caught she got out before we could get her fixed, unfortunately. So we're gonna have a round of kittens, and then she's going. As soon as they're done nursing, she's going right in to get fixed. Mm, okay. Thank you for visiting. Uh, <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, I'm an at-home care provider, and um, I take care of one of my uh, best friend's moms, and uh, I call her mom too because she's uh, as close to me as my own mom, and uh, known her for over 20 years, kind of thing. Been there for her. She's been there for me. Right now, I'm really being there for her because she's going through cancer again. She had breast cancer and she survived it, but um, as the doctor put it, uh, seeds go out from the cancer and not all of them get eradicated and they came back now in her spine. And uh, so we just went and did a bunch of tests today and we got a bunch of tests next week and then we'll see where we're going from there. Fun, fun. And, um, let's see, had a real interesting trip on the Greyhound recently, um, after about 10 years of being out of touch with my, uh, bestest friend, uh, she found me through my son's MySpace page, and, uh, I jokingly said to my husband the day she called me that, uh, I needed to go to Missouri to see her, and my husband said, okay buy a ticket so I did <laughs> and so I went um, it was my birthday present but which our birthdays are exactly two weeks apart so it actually turned into her birthday present because I left and got there right before her birthday and I was there for her birthday so it was a double birthday present from him <laughs> um, the trip was to say the least the trip from hell I left here, for, I live in Springfield, Oregon, by the way, and so I left Eugene for Portland an hour late. Got there, luckily, only 10 minutes late. Just driver was speeding somewhere. And uh, then uh, left Portland on time and continued on. To Boise, we, and when we got to Boise, it was an, we were about an hour late, not, not nothing real big. And then uh, through the course of the night, even got a little bit later and so we got there just as like five ten minutes before the next bus was supposed to leave with us on it because with Greyhound you know it's first come first serve but if you're already on a bus and you're tr and all you're doing is is it them servicing the bus when you get to a place you get on first and continue on and then anybody who has tickets gets on well they put all ticketed new ticket passengers on before us. We had to wait for another bus, and of course, it took two hours for that. And then somewhere in Wyoming, after leaving Salt Lake, we we left Salt Lake, and the air conditioning wasn't working. That was fun. And so they, she, the bus driver popped the tops and that the vents on the tops, and that was really great. But uh, so then we got air, and uh, we got into Wyoming and. I'd say maybe a quarter of the way into Wyoming. Uh, we passed the other bus, and it was broke down alongside the road. 
We picked up a couple of passengers who were going to like the next couple stops, and um, uh, we got into Rock Springs. And you know, when we had pulled over, and everyone realized that the bus was broke down, three quarters of the people on the bus started really laughing hard, and I felt like, oh, bad karma. And as it turned out, it was. Uh, we pulled into Rock Springs, and uh, one of the brakes was froze, and there was it was covered completely in black brake dust and stunk. So we got stuck there for seven hours till they could send us a new bus, because they had to come all the way from Salt Lake City or Boise. I don't know where they had to come from for that bus, but sorry. Um, get this stupid little habit. Anyway, trying to quit. Um. Anyway, uh, then, uh, after seven hours of being in the heat, middle of, you know, it was the 24th of August, pretty hot, we, uh, head out, and by, that was probably about one, I think, about, between midnight and one sometime, we crossed Colorado, and about 20 miles in, the bus driver or the bus, not the bus driver, but the bus hit a travel trailer and truck, and the travel trailer went down one side, and the truck went down the other side. And uh, I woke up thinking it was like a flat tire, and uh, then I realized it was metal on metal as I was slammed into the seat in front of me. Really fun. Um, and um, then I woke up and my shoes had flown off my feet, which really freaked me out. And uh, then uh, we finally got in. You know, we had to go through the paramedics taking off the driver because he was really messed up. Glass all over him. Um, a couple people were taken to the hospital. The rest of us were put on a, another bus company that had come by and saw the accident and pulled over and had room for the rest of us passengers and got us on and into the next town, which was a station, uh, which was Fort Collins. And then we uh, got into Denver after they finally got our luggage off the bus and got us on the bus. And they gave us a sack lunch and made sure all our connecting buses were there and we were left that station within 15 minutes. Talk about sweeping us under the carpet, you know? <laughs> Couldn't even get online to complain. Um, that was a real interesting trip. Um, I got to see some neat things while I was out there, though. I got to see the uh, some Amish, which I had never seen in person. I'd only seen on TV or whatever, and it was really cool. They were really friendly, and um, I watched my nephew play baseball. I got to take his senior pictures, which was really fun, and uh, I just had a blast out there, and pretty sure me and my husband are going to be moving out there one of these days. Um, probably in about a year or two. I don't know. Not like right now because I, I'm busy with my job and I'm not going to leave my job anytime soon. Anyway, um, I have two children. Uh, a 13 year old and a 4 year old. Both boys. Yes, I'm the only female in the house besides the cats. And I have a six-year-old stepdaughter, um, she'll be seven and soon, and, uh, I love her too. Um, me and my husband got, finally got married, uh, last November, which was really awesome. Had a beach ocean theme, it was really cool. Um, but I think that's where I'm going to end this, and thanks for listening, and remember to breathe in, breathe out, and repeat.